Ray, recently I feel as if I am being watched at all times. As if I am being followed. You what? Is everything all right? Yes, the culprit does not appear to have ill intentions, but I believe they watch us this very moment. Right now? Hey, you there! Yeah, Sneaky Pete! Come on, stop hiding and show yourself! What? I am no stalker! Well, then, what are you doing sneaking around spying on Elena? Oh, satisfying my intellectual curiosity. Every step she takes, every move she makes, it's all foreign to me. After coming to where androids are created, my interest is boundless. You know, I hear a lot about what you want, but not a lot of empathy. You're bothering Elena, buddy. And I'm gonna go tell Malkia about it. What? Well, why are you bringing up Malkia? Uh, why do you think? All right, fine. I'll never do it again. Blast. Excellent. The situation is resolved. <sighs> but really, is it though? So, I guess we're setting a course back for Aster 4 then, that right? Yep. If you would. By the way, you should know that Vergoldian Interstellar sent out a warning. Some of Remington's fleet haven't surrendered to Admiral Maverick yet. They report some scattered pockets of resistance. So a straight course for Aster is out. Yeah, might be smarter to take the scenic route this time. You know the drill. Better to be safe than sorry. Right. So we'll steer clear of the usual routes and see if we can find some safer detours then. A most prudent choice. It would do us no harm to linger longer among the stars, yes? Pull us out of orbit at a quarter thrust and set course for Aster. Last leg of our journey. Let's make it a good one. Copy that, Captain. Exiting orbital trajectory at a quarter thrust. T minus 30 to Aster 4. Picking up nothing unusual on our path. <sighs> Seems like this might be easy sailing for a change. Hey, bro. Hmm? If you got anything to get off your chest, now's your chance. We don't have much time left. Yeah, probably right. I have something to ask you. Yes? Could the Fulga be made to sail the starry ocean above? Nah, not likely. Why not? Well, it doesn't have the thrust to pull out of the planet's gravity well. And, I mean, it's got an open deck, you know? And a crew manning an open deck is unwise? That'd be a hard yes. There's no air up there for him. You mean, the air we breathe? Uh, uh, oh, right. I probably never explained the whole vacuum of space thing, huh? Say no more. Your point is made. We lack the understanding to match what is common sense to you. An awareness of that fact alone will suffice. I thought myself accomplished in my research. Alas, even I am bested. It shall be much time yet until we may hail our companions across the stars. Well, here's to hoping I can last the wait. Hey, what's with the long face all of a sudden? Contemplating of our return. The Centralists are no more, and Boldor may have fallen, but... That leaves not all well. Yeah, true. We know not how Buldor's absence will be taken. Once it becomes known, he will not return. There is much yet to consider. 
You know, I'm glad you didn't go changing on us. Even with all that's happened. Changed I have. Is that right? I have made many friends and braved many obstacles. And seen countless worlds far, far beyond my own. Albert, I think Osirius and Vale are in good hands with you around. I could ask for no more. Should I even ask? I'm musing over the Scorpium. Musing? I've come across a wealth of experiences I'd never dreamed of since taking to the stars. There is much I wish to convey to Melthea and Marcus upon our return. But my voluminous words will never truly convey to them the smell in the air aboard this vessel, nor the texture and tastes of our journey. I can't explain the sensation of my weight on the surface of strange planets for the first time. I guess not, huh? We humans are social creatures. At our root, we live through and thanks to our connections with others. That set me thinking. The Scorpions seek to guide evolution, and they share their society's wisdom with all who join them. Perhaps they forge the path that all humanoids must one day inevitably tread. Maybe so, but I think it's a path we need to tread slowly, questioning every step along the way. I needn't be reminded, but the matter itself is now known to me. It has taken root and will occupy my mind for the rest of my days. And what wonderful days they will be. You are a real complicated dude sometimes, you know that? If I wasn't, then I would no longer be me, correct? Yep, I'll leave you to your business. Okay, can you be straight with me on something? What's this now? Admiral Maverick gave his spiel and all, but what's the Fed really got planned for Aster for? Well, under regular circumstances, a planet such as Aster 4 would be flagged as a protector at the moment a figure of importance, like Leticia, makes contact with a high-ranking Federation officer. And with ours? Ray. What do you think would be best? Currently? <laughs> the Feds can't tell anyone else what to do. Right. Especially now, since Aster 4 has made official contact with Planet Vergold, too. Should the Federation try to muscle in and force anything here, it would only aggravate whatever fragile relation they have with Vergold now. So, for that reason and more, it's on hold. On hold? Yes, just floating in the air. Between us and Leticia, I think we can force the Federation to cool down its urges for a while. True enough. Oh, now, Space Cadet, you seem out of it. Well, these past few days have been one thing after another, and it all just happened so fast. And now going back home, it feels like it was a dream. Yeah, I feel that. It's really hard to believe it's all coming to an end, huh? When we first took off, I thought... If I studied hard enough and traveled among the stars like Elena, I can become just like her. But our worlds are just so... Well, they're worlds apart. I'm just sad, I guess. I've realized how little I know and how much I've yet to learn. You are really something, Nina. Why? I feel like whether or not Aster 4 makes it as a developed spacefaring world, Depends a lot on just that sort of mentality. Uh, 
What do you mean? Only what I said. Nothing more, nothing less. Future wise lady. Hey! I was being serious here! Seems our time together draws to an end. All journeys reach an end. Doesn't mean it's the end, though. Right? Indeed. I can assure you, we don't want to lose contact with any of you after today. <sighs> uh, speaking of the future, though, what exactly do you plan to do now, Duma? You were meant to assess the people of Vergold for Scorpion compatibility, yes? I am contemplating the endeavor to normalize Scorpion integration. Normalize Scorpion integration? Should I take that to mean moving away from invasive assimilation to focus on what were your prior methods then? You are correct, though we expect that alone will be insufficient. Contact with the Pan-Galactic Federation served as a catalyst in the Scorpion Schism. However, it is now obviously apparent that Scorpion ideology has always been susceptible to such dangers. It was always at risk of taking a more aggressive route then? Indisputable. Armed with that information, we must learn from our failures and seek out new methods by which to further our evolution. This perspective should be shared with the network. Sounds a lot better than the Centralists, that's for sure. But how's one little probe supposed to influence the whole network? Astute observation. I am but an investigative life form, unable to intervene in non-mission critical duties. Yet, little Duma, you did just that by aiding us on our journey, did you not? It was your actions that prompted me to do so. What actions? Your efforts to rescue the android Elena from the crash site at Galka Shrine triggered my protocols. Had you acted differently, my investigation directive would have persisted. Communication between us would have remained at minimum levels. In past surveys of worlds co-inhabited by organic and non-organic life forms, Use of non-organics as tools by organic life forms has been quite typical. However, you treat Elena's life as equal to your own, sparing no thought to her nature. In your interactions, I detected new possibilities for future coexistence. My aid was offered in an effort to further investigate future options suggested by your actions. Additionally, influenced by the interactions they witnessed between Raymond and Elena, Leticia and the people of Aster IV naturally accepted the android as an equal being, working alongside Elena as they would any other fellow humanoid. This is an astounding occurrence, and serves as proof that such a symbiotic relationship can spread. My actions may have breached my role as an investigative unit, but I am grateful to all of you. That's all just common sense for Vergaldians. Likewise, it seemed only natural for us. The greatest hope for the future of Scorpion is in finding more who share such a mentality. And you will strive to foster such thought, is that right? Correct. Perhaps you have already experienced some form of personal evolution yourself, then. Personal evolution? Yeah, <laughs> I don't doubt it, little Duma. You've been through way too much not to be left a little wiser for it. You know, I'd say this whole adventure taught us all a thing or two. Indeed. Then, I shall make my way to the bridge. Mm-hmm. I'll catch up later.
All right, let me see. Do I got anyone else to talk with? Ah, better head over to the bridge if not. Something up? Um, there were three unidentified objects in orbit around Aster 4. They're around 30 meters in diameter. They weren't there before. Establishing visual. Hmm, debris from the battle between Akizuki and the Scorpion ship? That is no debris. Detecting autonomous corrections in trajectory. That is Scorpion. <sighs> Hang on now. What are Scorpium doing in this system on a scale like that? Sure doesn't look like anything good. It doesn't look like they're itching for a fight, but it's probably safer to think they've got eyes on us, too. We got readings on any other Scorpium battleships? Captain, we've picked up a massive structure on the surface that wasn't there before. Pulling up the feed now. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Don't tell me that thing is... Scorpion. The sheer size of it. Where is this tower, precisely? This looks like... the ancient coil in Nilbeth? That cannot be! What of the Trathan settlement there? Can we not see what is underway within? Sensors are being blocked. Interior scanning of the tower was unsuccessful. This construct... could it be? I have no idea what's going on. Well, Leticia, looks like it's not time for goodbyes just yet. It would appear so. Ray, transmission from the surface! From that tower? No, this is... It's from the Royal Capital! This is Lola paging the Aldis, do you copy? Lola! Welcome home, Princess Leticia. The situation here is critical. Details now! Settle down and listen well. We are without many casualties. Osterius, Bale, and Nilbeth are working jointly on this. We're currently assessing the situation. I'd ask that you land at the Osterian Royal Palace. I can brief you on the latest intel once you've arrived. Very well. We shall be with you shortly. Ray? Copy. All right, let's do this. Ant? Yeah, leave the rest here to me. But hold your ass back this way if things go south. Lola! You all appear well. What of the Emperor, the Colonel, and Gaston? Well... I see. Let us go meet with His Royal Majesty. Leticia, Raymond, it is good to have you back. It relieves me to see you well, Father. Whatever has happened here in my absence? These strange beings simply rained down upon us one day. A whole expanse of the Nilbeth continent fell all but instantly. And what of the Trathan? Have you heard nothing? Many of your people have fled their homes to seek refuge in Osarius and Vale. Some fled for the Nilbeth capital instead, but all are safe. Indeed, then I am relieved. The invaders have made no further movements since their capture of Nilbeth. Without the slightest inkling of their plan, the Royal and Imperial navies can do naught but sit and wait off the coast. <sighs> These invaders are... Scorpium. That much is obvious. If I am not mistaken, their foremost aim is most certainly the Ancient Coil. They have raided similar sites in other worlds beyond our own. But the Centralist faction which espoused such ways has been eliminated. You say that, but look at what's in front of you. This is exactly the kind of thing those bastards would do. Ray! Transmission from Aster 4 surface! It's being relayed through a satellite, but I think it's from that Scorpium construction! What? There's no way! Merchant Vessel Aldus. 
Your return has kept us waiting. That voice... Voltor! I witnessed you perish! He endures. If only it were surprising. His consciousness persists on the network. Are we to understand that the physical form we fought against in Pravenian's cavern was merely one of many he had obtained? It would appear so. In his Cybermind integration, he has abandoned his physical form. And his consciousness is now more directly connected to the Scorpion Continuum than most of our kind. Which means what? Are we to suffer him in multifarious forms no matter how oft he is bested? That is correct. You jest. As was the plan, I have taken up the mantle of the Sovereign and will bring the universe together as one new Scorpion. You planned this from the start? What? You manipulated us from the start. The history, the traditions, all of Nilbeth stands as the perfect first subject for my rebirth, Scorpion. None are yours to take. Hear me, good people of Aster IV. With me as their sovereign, the rebirth, Scorpion, are here to see all the universe fused as one. The people of this planet will be but the first to join us. Let go of your troubles and your fears, and accept, Scorpion. Hark, we offer you naught but enlightenment. The Scorpion are what our people were always meant to be. Leticia Osiris. <laughs> I trust you hear me. You will continue to resist me. Of that much, I am certain. But know that I wish for nothing more than peace and happiness for you all as well. You... you lie! We await you, Princess. Our numbers ever-growing. Ray! I'm detecting lots of scorpion-looking aircraft ticking off from that structure in Nilbeth. They're spreading out over the entire planet. This isn't good. If they move on the cities, we will not hold out for long. This will be a far, far cry from our battle with Remington. How are we to wage war against an enemy immune to death itself? Our only hope is finding a way to curb Boldor's influence. Elaborate. The data we require can only be obtained by visiting that tower. All right then. Nothing ventured, nothing earned, huh? Chloe, what do you think about landing us inside that spire? The way they're jamming our sensors, a direct landing will be impossible. Well, get us as close as you can, and we'll hike the rest. Fret not. I have faith that we will be fine. <laughs> yes, it's as you say. You got it. I mean, we've been riding our luck this far. All right, we get in close, we bust on in, figure out the rest as we go. Sword practice, huh? We got a lot of hurdles ahead of us, so maybe don't push yourself too hard. <sighs> Nay, you need not worry after me. I find myself reminded of my limitations. Gotcha. Well, I guess a lot's happened so far. Yes, and while not all can be solved at the thrust of a sword, there remains much that good swordsmanship can prove. Should this world of mine continue to advance in technology, there may come a day when swords such as these no longer serve any martial purpose. One day when which they are but relics of the past, yet even then, I believe they will offer us some things we will never lose. The chivalrous way of our knights, sworn to their swords, may yet carry on through the ages. Discarded or replaced, something more spiritual and cultural shall remain. What makes you think that? I believe that the very same drive which compels us to fight is the same which we will require in order to move our world forward. 
Never mind the fact that you acknowledged in our first sparring session that your world too retains military arts. Yeah, I guess I did say something like that. And yeah, when we train in military arts, the first thing they teach us is how to temper our hearts. All right then. I am gonna go work out my body to train my mind. You coming? Of course. Be aware, however, that I see no need to hold back against you any longer. Show me a little mercy here. Sweet! Do your eyes see the same malevolent spire mine do? Was there not a settlement in the vicinity? Let us push on southward. I hope the people of Nilbeth and the Trachn are okay despite this big, creepy tower thing. All we can do now is hope and pray they are. Let's make our way for the Spire. All right, so we bust in there, and then we figure out some way to stop Bulldor, yeah? Correct. I wish to investigate to confirm my suspicions. Let us go then. Little Duma has not once led us astray. All these madness. <sighs> <sighs> what a lonely sight. Indeed. Never could I have imagined we might face such. It is of sole consolation that the number of victims was low for such circumstances. You seem surprisingly calm. I am pleased you see me as such. There is nothing to gain from losing my composure here. Though inside, I am seething with fury. Uh, sorry. It matters not. I will see it through that he pays for his atrocities. I do not care what he may title himself. I will not allow him to defile our sacred land unpunished. I will flood their network with the anguish of my people, the Drathen's fury. Let this be retribution for such heinous crimes committed upon these sacred grounds. Yeah. This place means a lot to us too, Malkia. Let's take down this big old bastard once and for all. By our hands, justice shall reign supreme on behalf of all who live in Nilbeth. Agreed. We fight now for the many we have come to know and cherish. All right. Let's do this thing. Raymond, do you have a moment to spare? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't mind. What's going on? On our journeys, you have been a great help on countless occasions. Truthfully, I do not know what would have become of us had we not met back in the Larkus Weald. Albert, what's with you all of a sudden? For this reason, I personally would like to show my appreciation. You said you liked sweets. Yes? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm a sugar fiend. Ah, splendid. For there is a confectionery here that serves my most favorite sweet. I shall take you there, as thanks. Come, let us be off. Oh, all right. Damn, that was delicious. The sweetness packed a punch, but the flavor was so delicate. Oh, you noticed. Their goods are a notch above the rest, because the methods they use are quite unique. Interesting. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me all the hot spots. I suppose I have no choice. As thanks. I have a favorite in the royal capital of Sendros. I shall take you there on our next visit. <laughs> I think he's just looking for an excuse to gorge himself on sugar. Qualms with my choice? Why are you trying to pick a fight? I'm just honestly impressed you're able to use them with such dexterity. 
It's amazing, really. <clears throat> but how did you end up choosing them? I mean, they're not that common of weapons, are they? It does not concern you. I figured you'd say that. Maybe the reason is... Because they're really cool? Weapons are not chosen for such reasons. What is wrong with you? Nah, man. Weapons have got to be cool. After all, they're your buddies in arms. You trust them with your life. If they're raggedy, your heart just won't be in it, you know? Such thought processes. You are wrong. Really? Well, eh, I think it's pretty important. Hey, what's going on? Where did you come from? You know, it's been a while since you snuck up on me. What an awesome scavenger you are, coming here before I even call you. Ta-da! Check this out. The ring? Whoa. Is it really? correct mundo This is the other ring handed down throughout the Vineyard family! Finally! At long last! I have found it! <laughs> wow. Guess that explains the freaky laughter, all right. Congrats. Great. So, where'd you find it, anyway? This you're not gonna believe. It actually got passed along to the Vale Empire. No wonder I couldn't find it searching all serious high and low. Normally, you'd think the ring would be hard to find after falling into the Empire's hands, right? But thanks to the big old snafu between Osirius and Vale recently, relations and trading between the two have been totally revamped. That's how I got my hands on it. <laughs> I'll bet there were some cool people working super hard behind the scenes to make this happen. Don't ask me who, but they definitely have my gratitude. I'm sure you feel the same, yeah? Oh, yeah, sure. Naturally, I gotta extend my thanks to you, too. I'm on the verge of restoring the Vineyard family name. And it's all thanks to my personal scavenger here. You collected all the vital material I needed. As head of my family, I, Welch Vineyard, would like to reward you with my sincerest gratitude. Okay then, now that I'm in rightful possession of this ring again, I'm starting to think this house is too small for my big ambitions. I'm gonna build an enormous manor that befits this beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. Oh, nah, that won't cut it. What a lame, humdrum way of reviving our name. I'm gonna make the vineyards the greatest family of merchants in the entire universe! Now that relations with the Empire are on the up and up, it's the perfect time for some commerce! And until we're the world's leading merchant family, I'll be making use of your services. As my scavenger... No, that's not right. To use an old term from Vineyard Family History, you are my business partner. <laughs> so let's get back to business partner. On. <sighs> Lady Malkia, Princess Leticia, welcome to our new home. Why the hell are you here? By the Emperor's command, I come to inquire whether you are here to offer your surrender to the Scorpion Centralists. You imagine we might? After you have wrought desecration on holy Trathan grounds not once but twice now? 
Does Lady Malkia speak for all of you, then? Huh. That's too bad. But the Emperor is a benevolent man. Knowing full well you would refuse, he chooses still to offer you a final chance. For his wish is but to stand guardian over all life in our universe, those who would resist him included. Come, and behold what abject misery awaits those who reject the Scorpion Centralists. You believe revealing yourself to us this way might convince us of anything? <laughs> if you yet refuse to reconsider, you merely reveal who you truly are. What is happening? with the fused cybernetics. Likely a result of forced modification of what was once a normal configuration. Be that as it may, we must not allow it to best us. Stand ready! Hang back! I got you! Nina! Why can't you just understand? understand. Let me down! Get ready! Become my blade! Enough! Go all out! Get out of my way! Why can't you just understand? Arms are killing me! Energy levels low. 
Additional tactics ineffective. Speak now what is in your heart. You were always a good companion to me. That's why I wanted you to join the Scorpion. Surely there was another way. Poor fool. Yes. Perhaps there was. But... It was one that I forgot... along the way. I will go and speak with the Colonel in your stead. For now, sleep well, Gaston. <laughs> that will only leave me... in more... Trouble. I'll speak to him myself. He went all Cybermind, right? So does that mean he can still come back like Boldor did? He will not. His mind was not yet fully integrated. His fused state overload was likely the culprit. Whether this incomplete Cybermind integration was by his own volition remains unknown. Duma, have you gained any insight to aid our fight against Bulldor? We still lack adequate data to make a judgment. We must continue. Let us then. This must be brought to an end. You would leave him here. I believe his integration to Scorpium to be genuine. This is where he should rest. You may be right.
We're gonna have to climb our way up this tower, aren't we? It would seem so. Let us begin. How far up do we gotta climb? Judging by the outside, we're going to be at this a while. We are left no choice but to press ever onward and upward. Think we've made it halfway up yet? I wonder the same. With my sensors cut off, I can't calculate our altitude in here. Just gotta keep going up till there's no more up to go. Target. Sure is oddly quiet here. We should take the rest we are given chance for. Welcome to your new sovereign's castle. Marvelous, is it not, children of the stars? Voltor. Such a pity, young Gaston. So earnestly devoted to me. He offered himself up, certain his cyber mind would help center the network around its new sovereign. Alas, you have been witness to the truth. How dare you? His life and its conclusion are now shared upon the network. Trivial though it may be, it stands to help bring forth a new era for Scorpium. A cause for celebration. Observing Boldor has provided insight into the problems with Scorpium evolution and integration. Share with me your insights, then. Join me. Let us foster our coming evolution together. My dear, unique Duma, why do you insist on interfering with those who are willing to support my ascension? Boldor, or Sovereign, as you call yourself now. After careful observation, we conclude your actions are unconnected to Scorpium evolution and are mere acts of conquest. Such a biased conclusion, one that has kept all Scorpium from greatness for far too long. We must now be more proactive in our push towards evolution. Come, children of the stars. Join our Scorpium network and let us bring prosperity to the universe. I refuse. Ever so stubborn. But the network is rich with records of those even more resistant than yourself, all of whom chose to integrate in the end. Is that not so, Valange? You shitting me? Him too? His mind has not yet been fully integrated. However, his fusion runs deep into his body. Valange! Lola awaits your return as we speak. You need not continue this. Your words are wasted. Here stands a man integrated twice fold, fully conformed to our cause. He has chosen to aid me in our quest for a new future for Scorpio. Now, Valange, give our guests some convincing. Nice look. What exactly is your deal in all this? I ventured beyond the point of no return. Nothing more. Gaston is gone. And he was not alone. The people of my homeworld, both those who integrated with Scorpium and those who refused, the people of Aster, Many have perished, and yet here I stand. I, who wish to see the planet Veer free from the clutches of Scorpion. Under the Emperor, under our Sovereign, I will one day make it so. I can work through their own network and see Veer liberated from Scorpion. Were I to stray from this path here and now, then all who have died, all their sacrifices will have been for nothing. Valange! The path I take is mine. 
and mine alone. This is my choice to make. Tell her that for me. Tell Loma. <sighs> now draw your weapons and spare me your words. Would rather have avoided this. I'll show you what it means to stand by your beliefs. Energy levels low. The only way is through. Get wrecked. To continue. Oh, wait. I, I'm alive. You need to find me like that again. Back in it, baby. Leave it to me. Unable to continue combat. 
Red sharing strength. Come on, look Time out. for a little payback. <laughs> <laughs> might I offer Lola? This was of his own accord. What? He wished for his home planet of Veer to be freed from Scorpium influence. But when it became clear the masses had chosen integration, he and the others were forced to search for other means. This led them to join the centralist cause. Their aim was to promote an evolution of Scorpium kind, which called for a secession from Veer. Evolution through secession. Inconceivable. Yes, impossible even. But still they placed their hopes in such a plan, clinging to the improbable, empowering themselves through integration with their foes. This in and of itself should be sufficient evidence that Scorpion is the future. <laughs> Damn it, Duma. Come on already, get it together. You still trying to figure out how to deal with this guy? Initiate combat with his current form. Final verifications will follow. Ah, great. Not sure why I ever expected a different answer. Still, you choose resistance? So be it. Such will only prove to bolster the future of Scorpion. Incoming attack. Initiate emergency measures. Why do you target Nilbeth? I have been clear. Nilbeth and its people offer the most worthy. All this power! Why aren't you using it to save lives? Why must you fail to see how I stand here to lead all life to salvation? The Pangalactic Federation will serve under your leadership no more. Fret not. The Federation will one day see fit to join the Scorpion once more. The Virians, the Vale Empire, and you, Voldor. Seeing the shit you've caused is more than enough to make even a guy like me start to see why the Fed's UP3 is so important. You are the Golden, despite your history with the Federation. Oh, we're far from friends, big guy. But this is a completely different matter. Blindside recommended. Warning. Energy here. levels low. Positional here. tactics ineffective. Take him out! Get through! Estery King. Let's get him close and personal! strength it is a shame to see it wasted why must it be you powerful few who refuse so unmovingly to join us hey we aren't finished here this has been quite an informative encounter though i do hope you come to me with a more favorable answer when next we meet
Duma! I thought you were working out a plan. What the hell are we supposed to do? Elena, I request you scan for any remaining traces of life in Baldor. No bio signs. The body appears vacant of his consciousness. He has completed his return to his digital form. You will require my assistance for what follows. Once you are ready, gather together. We have reached a conclusion. To apprehend a Cybermine integrated entity, we must confront them as a like format. Buddy, buddy, your final answer is to force us to integrate? You are correct, in part. Only in a quasi-integrated state. Quasi... Recall the training facilities on Parapium. As then, you will be virtually shifted into the same realm of existence. Once you enter the network, you will be able to track down the being once known as Boldor and sever him at the source. Did Gaston not fail to accomplish just that? What you ask is beyond most all of us. Thus, virtually. Unlike Boldor, we will not separate the death of the body from that of the mind. This will allow us to infiltrate the network. However, should either mind or body perish, there is no return. Is this quasi-cybermind integration something I too am capable of? By my calculations, yes. Where? How? Here and now. The spire itself has functionality similar to an integration plant. Likely in an effort to simultaneously assimilate a greater number of this planet's populace. Okay, so our consciousness is going to be pulled out of us and uploaded onto the Scorpium network? And uh, what the heck happens to our bodies in the meantime? They will remain here, defenseless, limp, and unconscious. You want us to lose consciousness here? We are in enemy territory. Who among us would dare leave themselves defenseless in such conditions? Princess Leticia, are you safe? Lola? Colonel, he's still... Your Highness, thank you for helping Gaston and the Colonel. I was helpless to save them. I... No, you have. Gaston may be lost to us, but the Colonel... He still lives. Huh, really? All this is our own doing. It was we who brought the Scorpion here. And we who left the Emperor a twisted man. Allow me to atone for our misdeeds, here and now. You will be pursuing the Emperor. I will stand watch here as you enter the network. We are in your hands. Little Duma? Gather together. Commencing digitalization for Scorpium Network Traversal. Cybermind integration. Is this what everyone sees when they fuse with Scorpium? Huh. So, this is what sharing knowledge is like. Each of these streams are... Scorpions. Ours. Bulldores. Damn it. No. It's pulling me in. I can't fight it. No, wait. Stop. Damn it. I'm getting pulled into Bulldore's stream. What are you doing, Ray? Elena! Ray, come this way. I have located a stable area with less severe current. All right. Do not let go of my hand, okay? This is... 
This appears to be the most grounded location shared between us. Were I to come here alone, it would not be as stable. This is Verdness, isn't it? We're in front of the office. Standing here now stirs up memories, does it not? Of your childhood days when you were much younger. Ugh. You came all the way to the office alone, so you could give your dad a birthday gift. But when you soon realized you did not know how to enter the building, you started crying right here. Oh, yeah. Damn, I remember that. When I came out and you saw me, you started crying even harder, perhaps in relief. <laughs> you have grown so much, Ray. Only in appearance. Oh? Every time I ended up in a bad spot because I rushed into something without thinking, you were always there. When things went wrong, I knew I was fine as long as you were there beside me. The reason I seem so grown up is thanks to you. Deep down, though, I'm still that same snot-nosed crybaby that was standing there. I find that thought both regretful and reassuring. I would certainly cry if you were to say you had outgrown your need for me. I honestly can't imagine my life without you, Elena. Uh, um, uh, sorry. Did I... was that weird? No, not at all. I cannot fathom someone speaking kinder words to me. Uh, are you okay, Elena? You're acting a little different than normal. You may be right, or perhaps entirely wrong. How exactly would you describe the normal me, Ray? Well, I, uh, I'm not sure. Well, let's make sure we survive this, so I may explore the answer. But, Ray, know that just as you find need of me, I too am in need of you. Yeah. And you know what? We're gonna be just fine, you and I. Yes. Welcome to the Scorpium Network. We have entered a projection of Boldor's deep psyche. Virtual forms? Huh. Hey, is the form I'm seeing of you real? I, too, exist merely as data on the Scorpium Network. It feels revealing to have them looking directly at the constructs of our consciousness. Does it not? Your consciousness is revealing? I don't get it. Ray, please do not stare at me so directly. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. Sorry. I just never heard you say something like that before, you know? Couldn't help it. If this is all a projection of Boldor's psyche, that means we're essentially inside his mind? Uncertain but such an understanding may prove adequate. And should he be defeated within this space, all shall be at an end? That is correct. You should remain cautious, however, inside his own mind. He is not liable to place himself at a disadvantage. Correct. Well, we came this far. Can't turn back now. And as always, we will be fine. It seems Boldor is more intricately entwined with the Scorpion Network than I hypothesize. And this disadvantages our efforts. It will leave him with more power and influence over the other Scorpion, and will make isolating him from the network difficult. How is it that he came to be so strongly bound? A connection this strong reflects both his strength of will pre-integration and his tenaciousness thereafter. Ah, strength of will, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 